boy. Um, my house is in recording. Renovation is in full swing. Thanks, Roland. Hey, Eli. Hey, how's it going? Good. Renovation catastrophe? Uh, yeah. No, it's going well. It's just completely ripped apart. Uh, oh, are, you, are you doing it yourself floors. or are you hiring no. people? Yeah, no, we have a crew over there. I'm just making decisions. Okay. Are you the project manager? Yeah. Oh. I am. If you don't have enough projects to manage. I know. I'm just, well, uh, maybe I'll just take on a renovation, a house renovation. That's a great idea. Yeah. I think maybe you could just adopt a kid in three different countries. That, <laughs> that's also a great way to stress yourself out, going through an adoption process. Right. I hear. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I'm potty training. That's the other, that's my other project, extra project. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, well, yay for recording. Yeah, we are recording. So everyone yeah, I'm not going to edit this recording, by the way, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, world. Welcome to my world. Um, thank you for joining the mobile weekly sync up. We are missing Ralph and Patrick. What's the Etherpad? Can you put it in the uh, Sumo channel? It is in the channel. Oh, it is? Sorry. Yes. Right. Do you need it again? No, I don't. I just forgot that it's April, not March. Oh, yes. I know. Where did March go? I don't know. So hopefully people aren't in the boardroom because that's originally where this was. But I don't see Ralph or Patrick online, so let's get started. Or Naoki. So Naoki and... sent his apologies. He put his update in the etherpad and he's yep. going to not call in. Okay. Thanks for doing the video recording from last week. Um, I looked at the minutes from last week and they're a little weird. I don't know what happened to them. Etherpad, I think, had a weird thing last week. Um, so Naoki's updates are for B to G. Uh, QA is working on Leo Plus, which I think is 1.2. Uh, and features include emailing pictures from the email app. Hooray. Hey, Michael. Welcome. We're just getting started. Um, and then writing test cases and testing new features. And then for Firefox for Android, version 20 is out. Tyler can and Roland can confirm if it's more stable or seems more stable. It's too early to say, but we think so based okay. on data. Good. Right, Tyler? We haven't we haven't seen a spike in update related crashes like we did with nineteen. Um, but right. it's only been out for twenty four hours, so we can't really call it right now. Uh, but we should know more before Friday. But so far, and if the numbers from beta hold true, it's more stable. That's great. That's what we need. <laughs> We've had a couple rough releases. <laughs> oh. so that's good. It's got it's got new features that people like, so that's good too. Yeah. Including private browsing and yay. homepage customization are yay. the two big ones. Oh yeah. yay. Yeah, and um, hopefully um, we will continue to customize the sorry. Enhance the private, uh, uh, the uh, customizable homepage because people want more and more out of that. A lot of people live and depend on that. If not, oh. before, but they so always maybe. want more. What? Because <laughs> they want to add stuff to it in different ways. Um, yeah. For those of you on this call and watching this recording, have been fortunate enough or unfortunate enough to read the feedback and the Google Play reviews. A lot of the people are confused. They 
And I know, Michael, uh, you're, you're working on this on desktop, and we will eventually get this on Android. A lot of people are confused by mobile, how to use a mobile web browser. They try to map from the desktop, which is a natural thing to do. But unfortunately, if you try to do that, it doesn't really map properly. So um, I'm hoping that this is just the beginning. We're going to make this customized home site feature better. And then we're going to eventually have what we've been speculating or dreaming about for a long time, which is uh, customized context-sensitive help and a first-run experience that guides people through. Yeah. So that they learn about new features and they can learn about old features. Yep, that would be the ultimate. Uh, Naoki also says finite sadness on the quit menu item. So is that a, finite or is that sadness. infinite sadness? I don't I know. I think he's just trying to put a positive spin. It's only finite. <laughs> we only had three threads as of 9.30 a.m. Oh, okay. Only three. Yeah. <laughs> it's... <laughs> The quit menu removal is, it's it's a pain point for for people, but it's not causing massive uh, uninstalls. Um, and we're getting feedback, but it's not, you know, 50% of feedback. It's maybe 20% of our feedback. Okay. Uh, so we were expecting backlash, and we're getting backlash, but it's not any more than we were expecting. Um, and we've got mitigation efforts in place to... Uh, make sure that users can work around it if they want to. So I'm expecting to see it die off in we have probably KBR next week. Yeah, KBR tagged as a hot issue. Um, Ian Barlow just wrote a blog post. So maybe I'll link to cool. it. Yep. Well, and for private browsing and the home screen um, modifications, maybe we can update old threads so, since those are sort of long-standing things. To help oh, right, people. yeah. Okay. Private browsing is really long standing. Customize the home screen is just since, you know, last summer, since the relaunch. Bram? Hey, Bram. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hey. We are in the Android section of the QA. Um, so there's also some links here for um, B2G features um, for 20 and 21 tracking. Oh, crash stats and tracking for uh, bugs for 21. Yeah. They're from Naoki. Thank you, Naoki. Um, OK. Any other comments on the stuff from QA or questions? Uh, general discussion, Firefox OS, they are starting to plan the camps for Colombia and Venezuela. I think Colombia is going to be in May. This, these are the um, contributor engagement camps. They're going to be two or three days. Colombia, I think, is at the end of May, like the 24th. So if you're in Colombia and you're interested in you're a Mozillian, you can participate by joining the camp and learning about how to um, help our new users of the Firefox OS and um, showing them the one thing that we're getting in there for the training for Sumo specifically is pe showing people where the help is, how to bookmark it, and add it to your home screen. Um, I also wanted to thank the contributors who requested prototype devices last week and for all of their awesome contributions to the help article. They're looking really good. Amazing work. Adding a lot of screenshots and sh um, sharpening things up and a lot of new articles. So thanks to everyone who's doing that. I have, I am ordering phones for you guys. Um, when you will get them is another question. But <laughs> they are being ordered. Um, Rom is adding something. Yeah, it's the it's the thing that I was supposed to perform last week, or, or two weeks ago rather, but I, oh, I did okay. it this week. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So if you so if you so if you want to hear it, um, uh, yeah, I can talk about it a little bit. Yes. Tell us. Okay. Cool. 
So um, just to summarize a little bit, the, 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 a little research that I did was about um, trying to find Firefox OS support articles in Google search results and how people might search for them. And um, well, the bad thing is I couldn't find any. The good thing is the device is not launched yet. So if you, you know, for example, if you search with anything on Firefox OS or Firefox OS help, Firefox OS support or whatever, sort of the best you can get other than our marketing website, which is mozilla.org slash, right, whatever, is uh, MDN, it's developers.mozilla.org slash Firefox OS something, which is like the Firefox OS page of MDN. So, uh, so you, you, you can't find, basically you can't find Sumo articles, that's sort of the thing. But I suspect that there are a few things that are at play here when people are going to search for help. Uh, that was my next assignment, is just to sort of find uh, terms that people might use to like find Sumo so we can start uh, optimizing the articles for it. Uh, so the first thing is uh, device name probably because um, uh, operators will launch devices that runs Firefox OS. You know, for example, like, you know, ZTE is like ZTE Open, right? Geeks Phone is like Geeks Phone Key On, for example, right? So, like, ZTE Open and Geeks Phone Key On are device names. And uh, if people are going to look for Firefox OS help, uh, yes, they might look for, like, Firefox OS support or Firefox OS help or my Firefox OS is slow, but they might also just uh, Google the phone name and expect to get help for the phone, regardless of what the OS is, right? So uh, I don't know if there's a way to sort of uh, meta tag our articles with the device names, right? With like devices that are compatible. Yeah, sure. hmm. Yep. What was that rolling? So, that... Michael. Oh, sorry. You can't see Michael when I point what? to him. Oh. No, oh, did you say, Roland? You said so. I'm just waiting for, for Brom to finish. I have something to add or... Oh, yeah, whatever. yeah. Sorry, finish, Brom. I'm sorry. Right. So, yeah, yeah. So, the first point is that device name is probably as important as OS names. If we're using, like, I don't know if we're using code names, right? Because, like, we're using Shira and Leo and stuff. I don't know if that's going to be the release names, like gingerbread or ice cream sandwich, but if we use them, Right, we're not, then that's great, right? But um, I think people are going to search with device name and expect to find help for their device sort of independent of the OS, right? It's like they almost don't care. Just give me help for this device. And when they search for the device followed by the word support or the word help or slow or crash, they should be able to find, I think, um, Mozilla support for that article. So I think it'll be good to uh, end quote our articles with that. And uh, and the second thing that will, I think that, that will be important is like as soon, I, I think like as soon as like Firefox OS is launched in the, uh, in the first market, and like none of the first markets are going to be English, right? And in fact, they're going to be just kind of non-Latin. It's like Portuguese and, and, and what is it, Polish and, and all of that. So I think we're going to do some uh, more of these analysis right when it launched, but like not in English. Um, because I think that's what's going to, you know, that might inform what we might do in English, right? So, so, for example, like if people in Brazil searches for it using like a different whatever keyword that we do use in English, and that might be the keyword that we need to tag our articles with, you know? So it's like there's this multilingual like meta tagging going on as well. Uh, the word for help is different in Portuguese and in Polish and, and stuff like that. And, and phones are called different things in different countries. So... Um, I think that might be important as well to like do this thing when we launch, but uh, not rely on like English results because you know that's not going to be as important. So um, yeah, so if we can help, you know, so if we can get some basically right, this amounts to sort of getting people who can speak uh, the language sort of do search keyword analysis. If not now, then we should do it when right when it launches, and we should. You know, like when people find help, like what, you know, what, uh, what keyword do they use? Like we should do that at launch time, but uh, probably not in English. So, um, yeah, so that's, those are sort of my two findings, but really you can't find anything. So that's, that's about it. So I was just going to say that I, um, 
from just right now, I looked for a few Firefox OS articles and we don't necessarily come up first, but on everything, but we do, you can find it. If you search for Firefox OS and help would come up in the search results. If you search for Firefox OS and some topic, you will, you will get a, a, a Sumo article, uh, if not the first, pretty close. Um, but that's not to say that uh, I don't not, that's not to negate everything you just said. So certainly all that work we did like on titles and search summaries still has to be done on Firefox OS articles um, and keywords need to be looked at along with searches. But I think the big thing that you point out is um, of course, um, unlike desktop and Android, right? All of our users are going to be in another, in a language other than English. Um, and so we have to be extra vigilant about doing that, um, doing that content tuning from another language uh, perspective, like Portuguese or Spanish. Or, we put, did, did the localizers put keywords in the keyword field? I don't know. Uh, yes, they can. Well, they, no, I'm sorry. Keywords are inherited. All oh, right. So we'd have to add them in Portuguese in the admin. Uh, or the... You know what? Uh, now I'm, let me look. Okay. I, now I'm forgetting how, exactly how Ralph I would double, know. Let me double here. check. Okay. Hey, Andrew. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello, Hello. So nice to see you. Like? It's the first uh, time I've ever seen you. <laughs> we should introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Michelle Luna. Uh, this is Andrew Fear 56. Oh, awesome. Who's been kicking some major butt on Firefox OS help articles. So thanks for joining us today. Welcome. We also have Brom. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm the UX designer on Sumo. So, uh, yeah, so the website, uh, the redesign, uh, yeah, so I, I worked on that. And, um, yeah, now we're working on the Firefox OS bit of it. So, yeah, it should be good. He is in New Zealand. Oh, that's correct. Yeah. I'm, I'm in, in San Zealand. Francisco. Birdie's drinking coffee. Tyler, are you, are you in Arizona? Yeah, I am. Hey, Andrew. We work together with user advocacy stuff as well, so we've met <laughs> a few times. <laughs> uh, yep, Brody. I was going to say to answer Roland and Brahms' question, keywords can, localized keywords can be added by localizers. They can either Perfect. localize the English keywords or they can add their own keywords. Um, yeah. But of course, the biggest thing is to, um, you know, just localize the content, right? The title, the summary, the content of the article. Um, right. And like Matt likes to point out, the Firefox OS articles, uh, especially to begin with, are super short. So any words in the body will count for any matches, search keyword matches to words in the body will count for a lot more than like a big long desktop article, right? That has a thousand words. Uh, a Firefox OS article might have 200 words or less. So. Yep. All right. Cool. Thanks, Brom. Was that all you had on that? Thanks for starting that testing. Uh, yeah, and we should probably do, you know, we should get, um, a band of contributors or something to sort of help us do this in other languages that, that we're not experts in. Um, oh, also, uh, you know how Google like customizes your search based on whether you're signed in or not or, or whatever. And really, like maybe the reason why I couldn't find any Firefox OS articles was probably because I use the New Zealand version or I use, you know, like different versions of, of uh, Google that might like tailor my search for me. And so if you can find them, then great. Uh, but that means we should be aware of, of, of that, I think. Because I think I'm, I'm seeing a different search result and search orders you than are. you. 
Yeah, probably. you are. If you're logged into Google, you're seeing a different search result than than everybody else. That's correct. Right. I mean, that's scary that you couldn't find any hits. <laughs> so I'm very glad you tested from New Zealand. Um, and Roland, you are also in Canada. Andrew, you're in Canada, right? You're somewhere in Canada. Yep. Yep. Andrew, you're in Alberta. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, and I'm in Vancouver, so we're a five-hour drive from each other, or seven oh, or okay. eight-hour. I don't know. <laughs> Where are you like close to Edmonton? Edmonton? Yeah, what? I'm in Edmonton. Yeah, it's just what eight hours drive from Vancouver. Twenty. Twenty? I don't. Is it that long? I don't, whatever it is. Roland has clearly never driven to. <laughs> I've driven to Calgary, but we did it over several days, so I don't really have any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> clearly, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, do your Canadian searches for um, for Firefox OS articles, what you think people will search for. I think Yeah, adding, I think um, it's a good point about the code names, but that, so, the yeah. problem is there might be some or phone names, because people, I guess, search for things like Nexus or Galaxy S3 or, I guess, space support, so... We should try it out. I'll try it out for Android. That's a good idea. See what where we end up. But probably we won't end up on ours because none of our articles actually mention specific Android device names. Well, while Ralph is in um, Brazil, I'll ask him to do some from there too. Maybe he can go yeah. to a land house this week and do some testing from there and see what results he gets. That's where Ralph yep. is doing more community building in <clears throat> Brazil and planning with them. So I just did a search, sorry. I just did a search in on Chrome, not logged into Google, not um, on Google in Spanish. And I searched for Firefox help with help in Spanish. And the first thing that comes up is the Spanish product landing page for Firefox OS. Perfect. So okay. this is, uh, why can I, oh, because Chrome, I'm already in this thing. So if you're in Pound Sumo, um, I searched for, um, oh, wait, sorry, I have too much, too much open. I searched for, Sorry, typing this. Um, and I got this link. Nope. Ah. Uh, and I got the link. Did you list it in Ponsumo? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there. <laughs> so that's the search term I typed in in Firefox, I mean, in Google in Spanish. And that's the top result. Oh, that's good. So the other thing is um, we don't have very much uh, 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 very much localized content uh, for Firefox OS yet. So and that certainly will help search results in Spanish and Portuguese and stuff as we get more localized content. The, well, we do know. have some localized content. I mean, all the marketplace articles are localized for Spanish, so we should see those show up. Right. I well, I mean, like this product page, right, is localized. There's, there. I mean, you know, there's no content really on it, just topics and things like that. Oh, but. I see. I didn't actually look at the link. You're talking about the Sumo product page. Yeah. Yeah, it's the awesome. localized Sumo product page. Is Which good. is what you would want. That's what you yes. would want people to get. Exactly if you search where... for Fire, Firefox OS help, you yeah. would hope that the that's help where that they, they land. got, that's right what they there. land. Yeah, so yeah. we're doing a decent job. We should just double check it. We should be part of our yeah. launch checklist. Whoever's maintaining that. <laughs> right, that would be me. <laughs> well, soon to be someone else. Yeah, could be. Could be, um, maybe. Uh, yes, it will be. It won't always be me. 
Um, but yeah, I also put on here that we should also just link to our stuff from MDN too, so people know where to get user content. We don't have great connections between the MDN site and ours. Yeah, who's yeah, that's the, a um, who is the uh, Firefox OS MDN person we should talk to, or is it just everyone, all the writers work on MDN? Um, work on yeah, MDN, I mean, it's a wiki. Products. We can just go and add appropriate content and links to our stuff. Okay. Um, but it's, uh, uh, what's his name? Sheppy. Oh, Sheppy. He's awesome. Yeah, he is. Eric Shepard, for those of you who don't know. Yeah. Um, um, all right, cool. Thanks, Michael, um, for, for doing that. And Brom, any other uh, thoughts on this topic? Welcome back, Eby. Eby, yeah. Andrew is on the call today. The Sphere 56 with us. That's Eby. From Alberta, Canada. And Eby from Oakland, California. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, tomorrow is Help Article Day. Hooray. Um, thanks again to everyone who's been working on Firefox OS articles. They are looking really good. I walked through them with marketing yesterday and they were like, wow, this is great. So thanks for everyone adding screenshots and content. Um, things that need more work. The Firefox OS FAQ needs a lot of additional stuff. Um, <clears throat> I, we did an FAQ for Android and just kept it really simple, not screenshots, just instructions, just the buttons that you have to push to get to things. Um, so we could use that as a model. Um, in the needs changes, there's a huge list of things that I think should be in the FAQ. And there's probably a lot of other things too, but that's linked there. And then, of course, the browser still needs documentation. And we can also, again, use Firefox for Android as a template for all the basics that we want to cover. Zoom, using tabs, awesome screen bookmarks, and then the settings. There are, are not nearly as many features in the Gaia browser, so it can be a real limited set of content. Um, the one special thing it has is the bookmarking capabilities that are different, and um, in addition to what the um, Android browser has, so we should have some content there. Um, so there's a couple things people can do. Um, I know Michael's been working on some cool screencast stuff. Oh yeah, here. You want to talk I'll, about that? I'll or post it in Pound Sumo. Okay. So this is I just did one as a kind of proof of concept. So I made an English version, which is the second link. Um, the first link is a completely localized. So the interface, although there's not much that is in Spanish in that video, but the interface is in Spanish, and then Eby did a, a Spanish version of my soundtrack. Yes. That's it awesome. It was super fast, but you speak English and Spanish at the same speed. <laughs> what oh. were you expecting? Well, he was. I know what I was expecting. Somehow well, I thought I, the rhythm would change. I asked, it's, it's not quite the same. I asked him to use my voiceover, right, as a, as a kind of template. But, uh, uh, it doesn't, there was some stuff that was longer in Spanish and I was like, ooh, what can I? He's there are not a lot saying more the, syllables. <laughs> he's not saying the part about swipe yet. I got to extend this a little. <laughs> awesome. Thanks yeah. so much for doing those. Um, I think they're going to be extremely helpful. I mean, I know they are. And um, I know they're hard to do and time consuming, especially just the ramp up. But now it seems like you'll be able to churn them out, right? Yep. Cool. Oh, and I made instructions uh, here. I'm posting, there's a video with instructions. Um, I mean, I still have to make a video and send you a, um, uh, a script, but I just posted the, uh, the instructions about how to record the soundtrack. In Pounce 
but this should all get written into a into a how to contribute article. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Because this can be done with any screencast, Firefox OS, Android, desktop, whatever. Yes, please. So I, um, <laughs> yeah. Cool. This is wonderful. And, um, you know, I know I heard this week that the Geeks phones are coming soon. <laughs> I know they've been in production. Okay. And so um, they're the same, they're faster. Is the screen size bigger? Or? Um, the peak is a little bigger. You can go to geeksphone.com and see all the specs okay. for the two phones. The, the key on is about is the same size as the prototype devices that we've seen, um, which I won't even pretend to know what it is, three and a half. Um, and then there's the bigger one that the peak is the bigger one that's a little bit faster. Um, yes, PD. but they should be coming soon. So hold on to your hats. Sure. Um, Any word on uh, Chang's beta program? Um, I don't have any updates except for I think they're still working out logistics and getting some help with um, logistics. Like translation. Of, of Devices. Well, just I think getting participants, getting the right, right participants yeah. in um, Colombia and Venezuela. Okay. Expect probably some updates in the next two weeks. Um, so we had some new developments today come up. So <laughs> that okay. should cool. good good developments. But okay. <laughs> I got some market data about um, Colombia and Venezuela. I was only able to read through Colombia um, this morning, but um, on the topic of you know what do they do most? What are their mobile users doing? It's um, I guess they have a hundred percent Facebook fe penetration or something. So that's the top thing is social networking on Facebook that they're doing on mobile. And then, Michael, your instincts were good when we talked yesterday about the second thing. Who can guess the second top thing they're doing on mobile in Colombia? I'm sorry, I missed what you just said. I was reading. Um, that's taking pictures, sharing pictures oh. is in the top 10, but actually number two is email. What was number one? <clears throat> Facebook. Ah. Facebook pictures and for some strange Wait. reason email. No, but Facebook email and then pictures is down the list a bit. Um, These young people don't use email. Come on, mm -hmm. the survey is wrong. <laughs> and, to, and tomorrow Facebook is announcing <laughs> their own phone. Yeah, we'll see. I uh, hope that they don't launch it in Colombia. Michelle, you mean using Facebook? Yes. Yeah. It's, I wish we had an actual Facebook darn app. The no back button in the mobile Facebook page makes it. Grr. Oh, I guess you can install it. Um, save the web page as a bookmark to your home screen. So you have a back button because it doesn't work without a back button. That's the goofiness. That gives, right, that gives yeah. you a back button because you just hit the home screen. Is is Facebook going to do something? Have they are they going to do something like Twitter? You know, Twitter was like, I mean, their Twitter app is great and it has a back button, and maybe they'll make it better. But at least they have a workable app in our app store. Is Facebook going to do that? Do we know? Um, I'm not sure. I I expect there to be a Facebook app available, and I don't know if it's going to be through the marketplace. Um. I mean, the stuff we've spent a lot of time on is the integration with the contacts app. Right. And using Facebook that way. Um, but I will find out about a standalone app. And also, um, next week, I'll give you the full top 10 of those for of the active mobile app activities for Colombia and Venezuela. And I think I have the top 10 for Poland also. So, as usual, 
lots of stuff happening on Firefox OS is getting super exciting. Um, any questions or comments or things I've missed about Firefox OS and B to G? Okay, Firefox or Android, take it away. So uh, yeah, we had a after uh, you know somewhat. Uh, smaller releases in 19 and 18. We had a big release in 20, had lots of new features, which we've talked about. The mobile private browsing per tab. Thank you, Aaron Reardon, uh, a soon to be graduate of the technical writing program. No, she already is. Yep, she's graduate of the technical writing program. She did an awesome job writing that article. Um, the other articles are about, the other features are about customizing the start screen, which we talked about, and we talked about quitting on Android. Um, and now we're doing the research phase of the Firefox 21 for Android and desktop technical writing program. So I, I threw in some links there on the etherpad. And if you want to help out, that would be lovely. Lovely. Cool. Lovely doubly. And yeah, 21 will not is more of a refinement release, I think. I don't think we have any major new stuff. But um, yeah. Cool. Thank you. I just remembered that this meeting is being recorded. Is there anyone on this meeting since Andrew, you're new, who don't, doesn't want this to be published? No. You're okay. It's no problem. Okay, cool. Tyler? Uh, Roland, the one thing that we do have in 21 is we're shipping a new font for web content. So anyone yep. using uh, Android, uh, Firefox or Android 21 web content should look better because we have a new Open Sans uh, font uh, for all of the web content there. And any bugs around that we would love to get filed. Yeah, so beta one is out now, right? So yeah, if you guys, those in the technical writing program or those who are just interested in helping out, we'd love for you to test Firefox or Android uh, beta one twenty one. For Android version 21 beta 1 which came out and beta 2 will come out at the end of this week so um, or in the beginning of next week and you could test the fonts make sure things aren't broken right on your favorite websites that would be lovely cool all right um are there other issues we should bring up at this meeting uh, to you have coordinate a sumo support? Yeah. What's that? Did we have a sumo meeting that Andrew suggested we do a weekly update? Oh, that's an old one. Um, Andrew is putting the notes, um, a summary of the notes from this meeting on the contributors forum. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, sorry. Uh, which is awesome. Very helpful because I don't have time to try to put notes everywhere. Um, so I appreciate the help with sharing around what we talk about here and decisions that we make. And Andrew, we were just talking about how great it is that you're posting uh, summary notes to the contributor forum. That's very helpful for everyone um, to find out what's going on with Firefox OS and Firefox for Android. Um, all right, well, that's all I had on my agenda. Does anyone have any items As I want to add before we close? What do they call them in all the other meetings I go to? Audibles. Oh, yeah. Any audibles? <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. Thanks, everyone, for all you do. Bye. Okay. See you Bye next Andrew. week. Bye. 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 Bye.